what's going on guys it's Slider and we are back on the Sky Factory map I always want to say server but we're not on a server it's just solo play um wow what's going on over here I hadn't even noticed are my picks done they're all broken let's go get some iron um so we've done a lot um I did some building after doing my little structure down in the deep dark <clears throat> I really had a hankering Anchor the right word? I don't know. I had a hankering from some building. And so I got some building done today. Well, actually yesterday, but whatever. It's going to be shown to you today along with uh, a little bit more stuff for Batania. Found a couple things that looked really helpful and useful and figured, well, heck, why not get some helpful and useful stuff, right? So with that being said, let me fix my pick or my Maddox's first. Wow, you take a lot of iron, don't you? Is it three ingots per? I guess once it's reinforced, it's a little more expensive to fix. Since the rest of them seem like, I think they're like one each. I'm not sure. But uh, I need to get that magical essence going. I need a ton of essence. And I'm going to let the automation uh, process do it because, well, heck, why not, right? Uh, I'm going to and put you two in there. I don't. I don't need you guys hanging here anymore. I don't put anything on you. All right. So, oh goodness. I yeah. I had a lot of fun actually. Um, you can kind of see it off in the distance. I'm going to show it to you in just a second. I had a lot of fun doing this build, but oh my goodness, it took a long, long time. It was 100% vanilla style. I didn't use any carpenter's blocks. And I literally just, huh, my poor pick has been put to work. Um, but let me show you. Let me show you what we got going on here. I kind of went with uh, what I kind of considered like a runic temple look. Um, I figured Batania, very flower oriented. But with that magical thing, I kind of wanted that like kind of castle feel. And this is obviously going to be a work in progress because it's going to expand out. But this is just kind of the start of it. I don't know. I like the look of it. It kind of looks like a decaying building. I've got a little, like, you know, walkway right here. But I got lots of ins and outs, which is kind of cool. I got a lot of ins and outs of this building. But, um, I mean, up on the floors, it's still kind of plain because I haven't decided exactly what I wanted to do. And uh, I, I wish there was, like, Carpenter's Blocks uh, chess so I could, like, hide it. But, you know, it's okay. The, the strong box will do for right now. And then I've got my, uh, my pedal apothecary here and I've got one mana pool here, and then I have another one up here, currently getting mana. Oh, they died though. So yeah, so I relocated my um, my water ones, uh, whatever they're called, uh, the water flowers, the water eaters, the honey, the the moist dew, whatever, the munchers, whatever. And uh, I was hoping I, there was something I was saying if you in completely enclose them like this, that they actually stay alive. That is incorrect. It might have just been an old version. I'm not exactly sure. Hey, I didn't finish. I didn't finish this. This side is not done. Every other side's done, but this one. Well, this one's not done either. Uh, but it's okay. I don't really come on this side. I come on this side where my little stairwell is, where I can kind of look. And not that I'm ever coming up here, but I do have a mana pool that's <laughs> very full. Got lots and lots of yummy mana. And then, uh, yeah. I'm going to be able to use like uh, things like sparks and stuff like that to move the mana around. But I got a lot of mana in here. And then I got a little stairwell over here. That brings me down to this guy. And I got some mana going over here using these guys. I didn't move them yet. <laughs> I didn't really want to know where to put them. And uh, I wanted to test out that theory of uh, that before I move these. Because these are not that they're, well, I mean, they're a little bit more expensive. But they're also really, really good. And so I didn't want to move them at the, for the time being. But anyways, today I've got a couple things I want to make because I'm ti honestly, I'm tired of running around with this guy. This mana tablet. I mean, the mana tablet's awesome and all. Don't get me wrong. Um, are you accepting or are you taking? You are giving away. I want you to accept because I'm going to drain this guy real quick. Cow, what are you doing here? Pink slime cow, you are my disappointment. I was so disappointed by you the other day. I, I thought... That I could grab some pink slime and make a pink slime ball and it just it didn't work. No, sorry, it did not work. Are you are you not accepting? 
No, you went up pretty drastically. Oh, you're already empty. That's why. I'm just standing here doing nothing. Um, oh, yeah, so I got a little, a couple little hidden places in here. Um, I mean, not really, you know, super secretive or anything like that. It's just they're quick ins and outs. This is where I've got all my wood and my stone going. And then I've got a little trap door right here that I can get back up into this main area. So I like the build so far. Um, it's really, really unique. And let me tell you how hard it was to get every little yellow X gone so I don't have to worry about mobs. I mean, this thing literally took me about four hours to build, um, mostly because of the redesign and, you know, moving things around and kind of changing things. But um, also because I needed to go around and I tried to find, I used some chiseled glowstone that kind of blends in with the build. So you don't notice it so much, but it's really bright on this living rock. So I don't know. Um, there might be some changes coming, but I like the build myself personally. But anyways, what we're going to get on to today pull out the Lexica Batania here I want to get some mystical items and uh, well there was one thing that I didn't make the other day that I can't believe will totally totally save me from having to carry a, a bucket anymore is this rod of the seas which is a rune of water a living twig and a water bottle and I think I have a rune of water up here in the chest and if that's the case we're gonna be able to get this bad boy just to start off rune of water cool and then I can craft up, um, oh no, shoot, I need regular living wood, not the planks. But it's okay, I've got some down here. You know, give me a second to get some more going. I, too, so much stone, so much stone I went through. All that cobblestone that I originally had in there is like all gone now. Um, I'm down to like just a few pieces of cobblestone, uh, stone left. It was, whew, it was a lot. Um, actually, I only need two. So, yeah. Um, but today, there's a couple baubles I want to do that are going to be useful. And then I want to get this, uh, the Rod of the Seas, because I think it'll be really, really useful. And, yeah, see, it's all gone. Like, I got to bring up some more cobblestone. I used a lot. Actually, I brought some up since then. But, um yeah i i need to i want to get this uh rune of the seas i've got to go get some glass make some glass bottles and uh oh i've also started making some cocoa beans um and actually they're mature because i want to make uh some mana cookies actually um i was told well i shouldn't say i was told i read that uh mana cookies are like the ultimate food source yes they use mana but I'm not using a lot of mana yet, and so I think making a cool little food source would be a really good idea. And so we're going to make up some cookies and uh, check out the mana cookie idea and see if it's really worthwhile. And then also we're going to make a couple bubbles as well as this uh, rod of the, uh, the sea. So let's see if I have any glass in here. I do. Well, actually, I got bottles anyway, so. Cool. Let me go. Well, I only need one. And I need it in my hand, though. Nope, you're not a water source. Where's my water source? I have a water source. Down. Yeah, I was like, I put a water source around here somewhere. Like that. And now I should be able to make the rod of the seas which is another mana um, driven. Oh. Doo, doo, doo. oh, I had some in here. That's funny. I did not know that. There we go. And there we go. So now we got our rod of the sea. So we got our, our dirt stick and our water stick now. And I don't need a bucket anymore because I've got unlimited water. Let me get some wheat. I don't have any wheat in here. Darn it. I want to make up these cookies and go test out this mana cookie concept um oh yeah i moved all that stuff there's no wheat in here where's all my wheat at i had a ton of wheat i know i've got some over there but whatever i can just go grab some so i yeah i had a lot of fun building i did oh but uh so there's gonna be three baubles that i want to make today i think i hey calm down now 
I think I should be able to make them pretty easily. They didn't seem like they were difficult recipes or anything like that. And, um, oh, more seeds are always helpful too. And then also, um, well, we got the rod. So, yes, these three bottles, two of them, not so exciting. One of them, uh, pretty nifty, if you ask me. It's going to be quite useful, and uh, it'll help me get some other things done. Let me throw the seeds in here. Oh, actually, I'm going to need more wheat, so let's do this. Alrighty. Um, it's like that, right? With chocolate in the middle. Yeah, cookies. Cookies for days. I did not mean to make that many cookies. Cow bait? That's interesting from X Compressum. I don't know. We'll have to check that out. But anyways, cookies. How much mana? Is that really like noticeable amount? Oh my goodness. Yeah, that is a noticeable amount actually. But um, let's go. Let's just do this. I have. Oh, I still got more. Nope, I'm out of mana. But uh, apparently. These mana cookies, Biscuit of Totality, um, it basically gives you your entire health bar back. So I'm not going to need another food for a while, but that was a lot of mana. I probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> 37 cookies. Okay. I, I got health for days. Um, uh, no hunger issues anymore. I'm just going to put you down here. But now, the other ones I want to make. I want to make some of these baubles. And um, I don't know, under accessories maybe? Yeah, bob accessories. Okay, so I want the band of ore and the band of mana. The band of mana basically is going to replace my tablet. And so I don't have to carry the tablet around. I can put it in with my, um, uh, what's it called? In my, one of my bobble slots. And I've got the mana steel already. So let's craft that guy up real quick, which I believe it was like this. This, 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 and this. There we go. And... Now I can take one of these rings. I don't really use the Thomcraft rings at the moment. So, I mean, I'm not really, you know, losing out much there. And then the other one is the Band of Aura. Now this one, apparently, I gain um, mana just walking around. But this is the guy I got to know how to make. This is going to be five ingots and a mana pearl. So I need to move you to the other side. Crud. <laughs> I may not have enough mana to do this now after what I just did with these cookies. Oh, that was scary. Um, but I know what I can do. I can take my newly found ring and fill it up with mana and bring some down real quick. I'm okay with doing that. I've got this one. It's like almost full. So I can actually fill my mana ring. Um, I need to switch you like that. Grab a mana ring here. Throw you in. I believe that should fill that up. Yeah, I was like, I think it works the same as the tablet, but I can just wear it in my bobble slot. So it uh, it's about half a half a tank worth, I think. And um, I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to go grab an ender pearl. I need five ingots and an ender pearl to make the rune of mana. That's actually not bad. I mean, I have iron and I've got eight ingots so we're good there are you done are you full you're full okay well actually I'm not gonna do that cuz I'm just transferring you into this one alrighty you're accepting right yeah okay okay you go ahead and take that while I go grab an ender probe I don't think I have any over here I got a little like I said ins and outs of this thing all over the place I don't have to follow any one path I really like the build I don't know about you guys but with like the ivy and the I just I think it looks really cool and then when I start having bridges and stuff like that go to other places um, I plan on doing a lot with Batania it's just such a cool mod I think it deserves um, some good attention all right so I got 10 ender pearls I'm getting low on ender pearls gonna have to figure out a way to start a uh, a farm for Enderman. All right, but we've got three mana tanks now, which is good. And this one's got a decent amount of mana in it. All right, so up we go here. I can put my bobble back in. There we go. 
and now I can do this. So it's one, one, two, three, four, five. All right, cool. That is starting, and I gotta go grab some living stone so I can collect the rune. Oh, but I'm gonna need one more ingot. I gotta go get some iron. I'm gonna need one more ingot. So while that is cooking up, I can. Well, this one's not quite as safe, but it still works. Um, yeah, I'll be able to get that. And then there's one more thing I want to make. I think it's called like the Sojourn Sash. And it's also another bobble that I can put on. Um, iron. Do I? I don't have any iron. I got pulsating iron. Um, conductive iron. I don't have any regular iron. Well, that's curious. Very curious. But I know I've got some in here. Oh, goodness. So, let's check out the Sojourn Sash while I'm at it. Because that is right here. Sojourn Sash. Where are you at? This guy. This guy is pretty useful, too. Um, that is going to take a Rune of Earth, which I think I have, and a Rune of Air, which I think I have, and then some Mana Steel and some Leather. So, I'll grab the Leather while I'm here. And uh, break you down. I need four Leather for that. That one I'm kind of excited about. Uh, that is a big benefit. One, two, three, four. That one helps out a lot. That one gives me a speed boost, a jump boost, and uh, the ability to walk up one block, which I don't, <laughs> I'm on my flat void land here, so that's really not an issue, but um, you know, it, it's, it's just a nice ability to have. All right, so we'll just make a whole bunch of mana steel. There we go. All made up there. And then you're done. So I can throw... Come on. Throw you on there. Really? Throw you on there. There we go. Give it a little tappy tap. There we go. And then we've got that. So now I've got the uh, Rune of Aura. Well, I'm going to get the Rune of Aura right now. Like so. And this one... I don't have to keep going to fill up my uh, aura or my mana because it's going to do it for me. Now we're going to make the Sojourn Sash, which was Earth and Air. And I should have one of each. I have Air, I have Earth, I've got the Leather, and I've got the Mana. So this is the one I'm excited about. Really, really excited about. Because this one is going to be doing good things for me. There we go. And I can pop that in this spot right here. And what bam Just quicker. Jumping higher. I don't have a I don't have a lot of mana yet because I just got the, the aura thing. But uh, well you know what? Let's fill up and I mean I'm obviously faster. You can you can tell that I'm obviously faster. Let's go ahead and just fill this guy up like so. And just transfer all of it over. Because I'm constantly going to be making mana anyway, so. Okay, you're drained. Alright. So you go in there. And now I'm obviously quicker. I have, well it doesn't tell me what speed I have. But I can jump higher. I can now jump two blocks high. So here's a test right here. This is two blocks up. Yeah, I can do that. So that's pretty freaking cool. Um, some very, very simple stuff. Now the last thing I really want to do today. Oh, I don't have any more coal on me. I need to get more coal. Um, is make there's a, a flower in here like it's called a hopper flower and I saw this and I thought it'd be a good idea because I've got the, the horn thing right here which is really really useful but there's a drum in here that I can make that uh, uses the horn and what is that drum of the canopy no I want drum of the wild um, so I need two more pieces of leather and six pieces of living wood so let me go grab the living wood and then we're also going to make one more flower today. And uh, then we'll be rocking. All right. Um, give me eight of these. Hey, where'd you go? There we go. Got to keep this stuff being produced. I do got to get some cobblestone over here, but I'm not going to need it for today. So I'm not going to worry about it right now. Um, so I got to go get a little bit more leather and we're going to get this drum. And then <clears throat> there is a gun I can make. I'm, I'm all about guns. You know what I mean. Guns are fun. 
Um, okay, I don't need those anymore. I don't need the pearls anymore, but I'm going to hold on to the mana steel. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and split this and take a couple with me, just in case. But I want to make this drum real quick. And I should be able to make it now that I got the wood. Like so. There we go. And um, I can do it with a blast of mana, which is... You know something I can just do from one of the mana spreaders but there is this um, it's a gun I think now what is it called um, at Botania it looks like a gun it's it's four mana it's a mana blaster is that it yeah the mana blaster okay so I need to make another rune of uh, mana, which is easy, and then uh, mana diamond, but the TNT I don't have extra of. Oh, I don't have any sand. Let me grab some gravel real quick. Okay, so I overflowed all of these and stuff just started spilling out all over the place. That's how productive those are. All three chests are just filled with ores. It, it's insane. It's absolutely insane how much I ended up with. Um, hammer, there we go. It's really dark down here. Okay, that's enough sand. Don't really need too much. Oh, actually, I only need like four pieces, but might as well make a little bit extra. You never know when I'm going to need it. Um, but there we go. Need the TNT. And then I need to make um, Mana Blaster. There we go. Need to make a spreader. Can I make one in here? Um, oh, I need that. That's not what I want. I need the spreader first. Okay, I don't have enough to make the spreader. Um, okay, but then I need some redstone, so I'll grab the redstone. I can make the rest of it back over at the base. Redstone. Let me grab a little half stack here. And what else was in that thing that I needed? Mana Blaster. Um, two pieces of wood, a uh, diamond, and then that. So let's make a diamond. I don't have any mana diamonds right now, so we'll grab those and let me see. Yeah, I got 35 in there. I'm good. Yeah, we got plenty of ores. Ores for days. All right. Let's go make a mana diamond real quick. Oh, I should have brought some coal. I forgot to bring the coal because now that mana pool is empty but this one has mana in it now so um, there we go just one mana diamond and put those away I've got the steel oh I need to make a mana pearl so I can make another one of those uh, these guys over here alright so one and one two three four five so you're gonna make that then let's go grab some wood because I need to make Hey, go go oh I put all the wood back darn it that was an accident it's alright there's enough right there and I'll grab that right there and we will make a little bit more wood while we're here there we go and oh I need a living rock up and down the ladder, up and down, up and down. All right. So, are you done yet? No, you're not even close. Do you have enough mana? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. you're just taking your time. Very slowly, very, very slowly. Okay, well, let me grab a petal real quick and I can make another spreader like so. There we go. And then I take you and add redstone and I get you. And I've got, I'm just waiting on that and I'll have the mana blaster. And while I'm here, I can go take my drum. I'm not exactly sure where I'm gonna put the drum, but I'm thinking in the middle is probably the smartest place. I can just put it on top of this flower, like so. And then all I gotta do is blast it with mana. Um, does this have any mana in it? Let me see if I can get you to shoot here. Nope, you're out of range. All right. Well, the mana blaster will work once I get this guy over here. Hey, you're done. 
And you missed again. And then you were on there, and then you were taken off. All right, there we go. Got that bad boy. Now I should be able to make the mana blaster. All right, like so. Yes, okay, so we got the mana blaster now. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And then I don't need you. I don't need you right now. Don't need you. Um, what do I need? Oh, so we want to make the flower. Okay, it's a, called a hopper flower. Um, it is a functional flower. It is called the hopper hawk. This guy, I don't think it was too expensive. Um, air, redstone root, light gray, and dark gray. That's easy. Uh, dark gray, light gray, air, and redstone root is a piece of redstone. And I'm going to need shears. And a piece of grass. So we can make this guy pretty easily, actually. And then we will have it all set up. And I'll grab a chest. Actually, maybe I'll make a really good strong box. Because I want to collect lots and lots of flowers. Um, so I need my shears. Alright. I might make some mana shears. Because I know those actually use my mana. And uh, <coughs> they don't have uh, durability. Which is a good thing. Um, okay, so let's go get a piece of grass. Ha ha ha, right there. Thank you. And I always get a seed when I get grass. That's kind of funny. Um, there's that. And I've got that. And I've got those two. And I've got those two. Sweet. So we've got everything we need to make our fleur. Our fleur. And oh, the strong box. Let me go make a good strong box. And we will set this up, and I think we'll wrap it up with that, because this was a very productive episode where I was actually ready and had everything going. Okay, str strong box. All right, so we're going to make a strong box. You're telling me I don't have any tin, really? I've got tin around here somewhere. Tin, where you at? Tin, invar, slime, invar, gold, bronze, copper, iron. Is there tin in here? I have no tin? Really? Out of all that nonsense, I have no tin? Tin. Here we go. It's not going to cook at all, but it, it'll cook some. Enough for me to get an ingot or two. I don't... Is that regular? Oh, it's like, that wasn't regular gravel, was it? Alright. We'll go ahead and throw this gravel in there. So I have tin to make the strong box. I've got the invar. Do I have it in here, or do I need to pump some out? Nope, let me go and pump some out while that's cooking. Invar, I've got tons of. Tons, tons, tons. Okay, so watch this. So, um, I'm down to three. Whoo, totally full up. Rotten, Hershey, and Cocoa. Rotten, Hershey, and Cocoa. That's an interesting achievement. Not sure what that's all about. All right, come on, come on, come on. Come on. There we go. Let me switch over to tin, which should be up top. Yep. And get that going. My puppy's upset. Well, actually, my oldest one. He gets upset when the little puppy likes to mess with him. But it's late at night, and I kind of understand not wanting to be bothered. So, got my tin. There we go. Throw that all in here. Tin in there. Invar in there strong box I forgot the R not a stong box alright so you like that like that and then you like that and like that and then reinforced do I have enough of that glass I do sweet okay so we've got all this perfectly set up to go make our hopper hawk and then this should work really really well so let's see oh I'm not God, I really should go get some coal. I uh, I do away with all my coal, but I need to start bringing that into um, from the deep dark. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, petal apothecary. Okay. Does this work here? Does it work? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Okay. So one, two, one, two, one, and one, and seed. I happen to have that one seed. That's awesome. <laughs> all right. So we're gonna take you down here. And I think we're just going to set you up. 
Um, I think we're going to make you one of the... Well, let's do this. I don't want to like take you out of the out of the realm of things. Um, I don't want to waste any of my flowers. So there's the hopper hawk there, and I think just for continuity purposes, I don't want to have it on the wood. So I'm going to put the strong box right here, like so. So anything should just go in there, and let's test out. The, I want to do it from a distance. I want to take a zap from a distance. All right, so let's take a shot from up here. Like, hey, look at all my beautiful flowers. Should probably collect those. And it hits it and breaks all the flowers. That is awesome. Okay, that hopper hawk doesn't seem to be picking up this half. Maybe we'll put it right in the middle um, next to it. I guess we're going to miss out on a couple flowers, but... I'm okay with just a couple flowers missing. But that's awesome. Look at all those flowers it collected. That's freaking amazing. Oh, I could use my hammer, but... There we go. So we're going to move you. I've got one of the ones in the light anyways, so... I guess I'd be okay with this. So we'll put the hopper hawk there. And this chest will go right there. And I can put this block back in and put this plank back in and there we go and then let's go grab some coal so those start getting some radiance some more and i can get more flowers and we will call this a day so do i have any coal i should have some coal around here oh yeah tons of coal what am i thinking i don't have to import it all right you like that and <coughs> that gives me 15 of these and I can go oh okay, I can jump up there now I don't need that other step up anymore um, we're just gonna throw a couple things of coal out there are you gonna eat those up is that one too far oh no it's close enough cool so you're gonna start throwing mana in there and once this pool gets some mana in it it there we go the flowers start going and then we take our little zapper and it breaks them that is so cool and then the hopper hawk just picks them up this is freaking sweet oh it makes a little drum sound oh it's got a little note above it and everything oh this is a pretty sweet setup okay cool so we've got flowers for days now flowers are no longer an issue that is freaking outstanding i'm gonna leave the coal in here because i'm gonna want that for uh you know growing purposes and stuff like that or uh, mana purposes and I'm thinking in the next episode, yeah, we're going to still be sticking with Batania. I am so excited about this mod. It's just, it's crazy fun. And I don't know why I saw my hammer on me, but... Oh, yeah, 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 I forgot to show this. So, um, the Exo Flame. Apparently, it's got a little bit of range. So, what I did was, I, in my uh, ceiling, or I guess in the floor, I put all the furnaces in and then put this Exo Flame here. Now, this Exo Flame pulls from the mana pool that's above this, so it stays filled with mana. It, uh, yeah, it's connected to this um, pool right here. And then basically it powers all these furnaces. So it's it's pretty quick. It's pretty, oh, it's awesome. It's a nice little setup. I actually, I'm really happy with uh, everything I did here over like the last day or two. And uh, now I just got to figure out a way to keep these flowers. I'm going to have to get more of those uh, purple loot bags so I can get more of those overgrowth seeds. But for the time being... I think we're doing pretty well. Oh, <laughs> it's so awesome. Oh, goodness. Hey, go ahead and get those two. There we go. All right, guys. So until next time, I'm Slutter Havoc. This is Sky Factory 2, and I got a lot of open space to work with. All right. Until next time, guys, I'm out of here. Peace.